these came in today. Um, Miriman, Mayorka, um, Tussle Loafer in Burgundy, size 7.5. Um, ordered them on Monday and they arrived on Thursday and that's from Spain to Melbourne, Australia. So I'm going to have a look. I've already opened them but I've put it back together just to show you what it looks like because as far as I know um, there aren't any videos of these shoes in particular and um, so one shoe bag I also ordered a uh, dot but we'll get back to that we've got the right shoe oh, look at that what a beautiful colour hey let's have a closer look jeez see the quality of the leather I mean it's pretty firm like, like yeah you can see you can see how firm it is um, the color is super nice nice and rich there was a little mark there but I'm sure I can I can buff that out um, with some conditioner or whatever, I don't know. You can see the um, sole. Yeah. A little bit of some of the dye coming off, off the edge, but doesn't matter, it's going to be on the bottom of the shoe. And you can also see how they've covered the stitching. I believe from what I've read anyways, they what they do is they um, cut slice this on the outside and then they flip it over before they stitch it, uh, the Goodyear welt, and then they push it back and I guess somehow, I think it's called a closed channel or something like that, whatever, not really familiar with those the terminology. See, Neumann, Mallorca, good year welted shoe. So hopefully these will last. There's a little bit of a but these shoes are such bang for buck. Um, at least in Australia you won't find anything like this for less than um, I'd say like four hundred four hundred dollars. Um, I think in Australian dollar at the moment, uh, the conversion came out to be 350, I think, 350 in the inside, it focuses, yes. Comes with this thing, it's just a plastic stick, uh, no shoe trees, uh, uh, stuffed in there. Let's have a look in the shoe. A little bit of scuffing. I haven't tried these on yet, so this is the first time I'm seeing inside the shoe, along with you guys. Um, let's have a look at what that says. Okay. Designed in Mallorca, handcrafted in Shanghai. Yeah. So that's, I mean, that's how they keep the price down, but, you know, um, it still goes to Spain and, like, um, quality control, etc., to make sure it's up to their standards, um, and I'm fine with that, you know. Um, this is my first pair of um, Goodyear welted shoes, so, yeah, I, yeah, I'm pretty happy with them. Let's have a look at the other pair, I mean the other shoe. Bam. So you got the right one and then the left one. Hmm. Just noticed just a little bit of there. 
I'm sure I can polish this out though, um, and it won't be an issue. Just a few scuff marks that probably from being in the box, um, but again, like these these things are really minor. You can buff them out super easily. So I'm not concerned at all, really. Oh yeah, I didn't show you the insole. It's a leather insole, I believe. It's cool. I like it. I'm pretty happy, especially with the color. Yeah, it's a nice burgundy. Apologies if I'm mumbling. That's just how I am. That's how I talk. But um, hopefully this video is somewhat helpful for those looking to buy these shoes. Um, yeah, and I'll include. Um, my sizes for other common shoes that people may have uh, for comparison because I don't have um, dress shoes um, really. I, do, I have tried some of them on from other brands, uh, the ones that we have available here and um, used ones that I've had a look at in person from other people. Yeah, I'll, I'll include a list of shoes that people around here anyways are likely to um, know their sizing so they can compare with how these fit because I feel like that would be useful since they are a online only brand as far as buyers in Australia are concerned I believe anyways I could be wrong about that uh, let me know if I am but oh, damn look at those let's have a look at the belt now this I have not opened at all, so... There's the belt. This is the first time I'm seeing it. Um, I got it in the same colour as these shoes, uh, just because I wanted to match the... I have a matching belt um, for the shoes. It was an extra 50 uh, euros. Um, funnily enough, um, even though I'm in Australia, uh, they still included the tax within the um, checkout. I'm not sure if I did something wrong. Uh, let me know if you've had a different experience. Um, let's have a look at what this is. I'm just no idea. Made in Italy. What the? It's not something I expected really hard to show on here actually. Um, bold brass it says on the top and then made in Italy on the bottom. It's really hard to see. I'll include some photos if it's not really clear. Um, but yeah, the leather looks quite nice. Colors pretty similar. Uh, similar enough anyways. I think it's a tiny bit, I would say it's a tiny bit lighter. I don't know. Um, I think that's just my eyes. But you can see for yourself. Yeah, I like it. Stitched, natural. Um, yeah. Nice, simple buckle. Uh, yeah. Ah, oh, guys. They look great, I think. Well, in my opinion anyways, I think they look awesome. The right one fits perfectly. I'm normally like a nine, nine and a half US in a lot of shoes. And these are a 7.5, because I read on forums uh, that a lot of people had issues with um, it being half a size. A little bit too big compared to Meerman's other uh, shoes. So I went by that and yeah they fit great. My left foot is um, a tiny bit bigger than my right so it's a tiny bit tighter around here um, but um, I anticipate these to uh, stretch out over time and um, hopefully become more comfortable. Uh, yeah they look great, I like them. So um, what I wanted to do here is compare the color to, um, you know, ordinary stuff that I think most people would 
be able to access at the, like, at the groceries or something just to see what the color looks like because I know it can be hard to um, kind of gauge what a color might look like from just online pictures um, so of course fruits and sauces that are kind of similar colored um, yeah. yeah burgundy it's a bit of a mix between these two sauces it's nice, I like it. Alright, so now we're gonna do like a little size comparison um, between two pairs that are very commonly found, um, at least in Australia. So you've got RM Williams. Uh, I think a lot of Australians know, know this shoe. Very, um, very well known company in Australia. Um, and then you've got Common Projects. Um, which are also ubiquitous. Um, you can find them anywhere, so try them on for sizing and hopefully this can be like a reference. I'll try and wiggle my toes. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yep, can't see jack shit. Oh, they're so pretty. Mmm, they're so nice. Let's get a side shot. Apologies, it's probably a bit dark. Um, but I hope you get an idea of like the shape. Maybe that'll help. So my final thoughts on this shoe. Um, amazing value, good year welted, um, you know, quali quality leather, um, I don't think it's corrected grain, um, and beautiful shape, you know, I just love the shape, to be honest. Um, they're made in Shanghai, um, I, I think predominant predominantly, um, but as with anything really, you can get good or bad products from anywhere around the world, right? Um, and as far as I'm concerned, these are, in my opinion, a, a like, such a good value, um, but good quality product. Um, we'll see how they last, um, but from what I've seen today, I'm happy with my purchase. Just thought I'd point out, um, I buffed out some of those small scuffs um, using the shoe tree bag, actually. Nothing else, and they came out great, um, as I suspected um, and the you know how this was kind of lopsided before um, all I did was pull the tassel through I guess that's yeah no nah. no issues um, yeah happy shoe shopping guys I hope you found that useful